Hello everybody, it's Two Siders here. Today I'm going to teach you how to get the most amount of money in Parkosaurus. Um, the latest version is 0.6 as you can see up here. So just start the standard game, let's skip the tutorial. And uh, the economy part of the game is pretty imbalanced at this point. Uh, so it's gonna be very easy. Uh, let's open the park from the get-go and then we are going to uh, speed up the game. First thing we're gonna do is hire four scientists. Now you want to hire four scientists and then hire new scientists. We can only hire three at this point but um, we're gonna go into digging uh, just open a portal straight away so it's on cooldown and we want to get scientists that have the three by three square shape for digging and you want to, you know, fire them and hire new ones until you get the good RNG, if you understand my flow. Make sure you set the ticket price to 30. It does not matter whatsoever if it's, you know, $5 or $30. And it's the same for uh, buildings, except the balloon shop. But for food buildings, like, you know, the hot dog vendor, uh, sweet tooth, make sure you set it to 30. Guess we'll just buy them. It doesn't matter for them whatsoever. I don't want to make the whole thing wood because uh, higher chance of breaking, etc. Let's place down the axe so it's on cooldown, you know, hatching. Uh, one of the most expensive things is the grass, so we're just gonna place it down quickly. You see it's already like $2,000, that's insane. The expedition team has arrived, so we're just gonna dig. Uh, this is bad RNG, these are really bad shapes actually, but we're just gonna go with it. Now, it doesn't matter if at this point I would fire these scientists and hire new ones. Uh, they would stay the same in the digging section. I'm not sure if this is a bug or not, so... I'm just gonna complete the digging for now. And what we are looking for, we are looking for skeletons, but... Uh, what we are more interested in is uh, coins. You can find coins that um, are worth $500 or $1,000. That's fine, let's just go look for new stuff. Always uh, have the portal open so it's on cooldown. Uh, let's open this little guy. Uh, usual stuff, you know, placing down entrance. Let's place down dinosaur feeders, you know, the usual stuff. Let's buy veggies for tomorrow. And also important, when we we uh, when we when get enough money, we should buy a research sta station. Right now, we do have enough. Uh, this is so our scientists can actually um, work, you know, on, on science points. Science points are, you know, mostly for unlocking new stuff. But you can get these perks, which increase, you know... Um, guest spending, guest stay time in park, etc. Another thing we're gonna buy right now is the lamps, so guests can stay longer in the park even into the evening. I actually wanna buy new scientists until the cooldown is is uh, off. Fire all of them, because none of them are free by free squares. I don't care about your PhD, I only care about your digging. Buy four. Again, it doesn't matter what abilities they have. Or how much they cost, it doesn't really matter. Now, we don't have enough money to buy anything, really. Um, we're gonna accept the hot dog quest that you always, always get. And uh, we're gonna place down some trees. We spent all of our money. It's okay. Digging team is back. Um, let's remember that two pill is, the, is a scientist we want to keep. Everybody else can just get fired. And as you can see, every scientist, it doesn't matter the shape, have... Um, five tries, uh, including this one. This was also five, uh, by the way. Um, this is this just like really overpowered to get the uh, square shape over the other ones. Not to, not to mention the fact that having only squares is really easy for your brain to comprehend. Because right now, you know, I'm like I have to match tiles, and it's like Tetris. Tetris is really easy if you only get like lines, for instance. Uh, we got really bad RNG again with the coins. We got uh, zero coins, unfortunately. Uh, we uh, we fired the scientist that was actually there. So uh, remember, two pill is the good one. Fire her. Arf. Sequencia. Really interesting names. Uh, we're going to hire three new scientists. Buy a janitor, buy a vet, and buy uh, four scientists. Uh, you don't have to buy security guard uh, for now. And I'm pretty sure you can just use the dart gun too. Lay siege on dinos. Oh man, it would be so cool if you could pop those balloons. You can also uh, <laughs> kill guests. Let's see. Okay, so we have another scientist. Novargo and Tupil are the ones we need. Everybody else can get fired. Look how easy this is. 
That's okay, now we have enough money to buy new Triceratopses and uh, whatnot. So that's what we are going to do. Uh, let's go into Triceratopses, because remember, we also want to get not our money high, but also our hearts. And uh, more dinosaurs means more hearts, and also because they are social animals, they're just going to be super happy. Um, the last thing we need is uh, really important tall grass. Um, now, tall grass, the way this works in the game, it's a bit buggy right now, is you don't need tall grass everywhere, just make sure you place it somewhere around, you know, the this side of the exhibit. We don't have enough money for all of it. That's okay. Because uh, dinosaurs don't wander, like they're never gonna come this way, uh, it's how they work. So, uh, tall grass just here is enough. Very important, always place down donation boxes. Because you get a lot of money from donations. Let's not forget that we hire or uh, fire the scientist that was working there. Um, so we need to replace that person. Uh, so Tupil and uh, Novargo, I'm pretty sure, were the right ones. Okay, uh, these are not good either. Okay, we got a coin already. Nice. Park is closing anyways. There's another one. Uh, so we got $500 from one coin. Um, you can also get $1,000 coins, which are extremely valuable. Fortunately, we didn't uh, have the time to get this coin. Uh, it's good to get coins at the end of the day because you instantly get it, if you know what I mean. And we're gonna get more stegos. We have a big enough exhibit. In the recent update, dinosaurs need 30% less uh, space, so it's a bit cheaper to uh, create these large exhibits. In the meantime, we're also going to place down some decorations, so, you know, guests like that sort of stuff. It's 500 this time. There's another one. 500. Easy money. Easy life. And look, we got all of the fossils. Once you have all squares, you are constantly going to get all the fossils, like no question about it. Let's uh, look for uh, Ceratopsia this time. We're gonna fire the scientists again. And tomorrow we are getting $5,000, which is a very, very insane amount of money at this point. Digging uh, 1,500 ticket sales, an insane amount as well, because we put it up to 30. Merchandise is always nothing. We almost got all of our uh, scientists, we just need to fire part. Get a new one. Look how easy this is. And for the edges, I'm just gonna use my my guy. Here we go, another coin. This time it was 1,000, that's an insane amount. And look, we got all of the fossils very easily. And as you can see, because of the, to the tall grass is here, um, they are always in, you know, 100% privacy. They're pretty much always happy. Everything is pretty much 100%. The enrichment need, uh, the only way to get that up is to unlock using hearts um, dinosaur party pack number two. And that's a bit like, you know, way off. You have to unlock a lot of stuff for that. We can start unlocking towards, I guess. But we'll need more dinosaurs to get that done. And right now, um, to be honest with you, we're making so much money. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna have around uh, eight, nine thousand dollars. Um, that's just enough money to do anything you want in the beginning. You just, I would personally buy another Triceratops exhibit, fill it up with dinosaurs. Uh, that means even more hearts. Um, unlock the new science stuff so you can get, you know, uncommon gems, uh, more donations again. Sue Chef is very important because it increases time at park. There are these perks that you should unlock using science uh, and billboards. Things like this increase, you know, guests, um, the amount of guests that come in. And because every ticket is uh, $30, it's an insane amount of income. So at this point, you would just continue doing whatever you are doing here, you know, digging. We got a thousand from digging from just one coin, you know what I mean? We, you also get uh, tier rewards uh, when your park goes into a higher level, so that's just too much money, basically. Very easy. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it was uh, helpful. Uh, at this point, it's just self-explanatory, just basically wait around until you get infinite money. It's very easy. Uh, I spoke to the developers in the Discord chat, but unfortunately, because there's like 20 of us, you know, talking, um, I feel like, you know, I input something and then People are like, oh yeah, why don't you add like graphical updates? And I, I like, I, I personally feel like 
this might just be me, but I feel like this economy should be fixed in the game before any, you know, new stuff. So the game would be more enjoyable, you know, more difficult, more players would enjoy playing the game. And, you know, after that you can add the harder stuff, you know, graphical stuff. But um, tweaking the economy is just numbers. But yeah, there you go. Um, I shall see you tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please uh, rate it. Bye-bye. What brings you to visit Lonely Old One Sam?